Welcome back campers to another episode of TCP Summer Camp. Today we're coming back from our live stream on Friday with our complimentary Monday episode and we're going to be talking a little bit about relaxation and mindfulness. Now we know that high school can be really stressful from concentrating on good grades, having a job, and trying to think about your future career as a junior and senior. It can be a lot of stress and be really hard on a lot of students. And stress can lead to so many things from giving you more anxiety, depression, sleep de deprivation. There's so many things that can come from being overstressed and over encumbered. So we wanna talk a little bit of today about how relaxation and mindfulness can really help you. And to help me in that, I have a guest with me today. So Mary, welcome in. Hi Bryce, nice <laughs> to see you. Hi everyone. So Mary works here at the Challenge Program and she does a lot of stuff and her job can be pretty stressful. So Mary, what is your job here? And can you tell them a little bit about what you do? I'm the Program Operations Coordinator. So I schedule all the kickoff assemblies and all the senior awards and um, there's over 140 schools this year, so I'm pretty busy. <laughs> yes, yeah, and she can be really stressful when we're in the heat of the season. So trust me when I say she is an expert on keeping her stress level down and trying to be centered. So today we just want to go over some different options that you may have in trying to de-stress and feel relaxation and being more mindful of yourself. So we're going to explore some of those and Mary's going to help me a lot because she has a lot of concentration when it comes to things like meditation and other stuff. So now we're going to explore some of the options that you may have. So first on the top, I think that I want to talk about chakras a little bit. Okay. So Mary, I think you know a little bit about chakras, A right? little bit. <laughs> so I just wanted to highlight two for students real quick. And these are two that I feel like will be very useful to a lot of students. So first, um, the base chakra. Mm -hmm. What would you say about the base chakra? The base chakra is what like connects you with the earth. It grounds you and it'll help you feel more solid. Um, and it's kind of the opposite of being in your mind and really busy. It's a feeling of being grounded. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it helps students to focus and really feel like they are in the right place and mm -hmm. in that moment. Um, and then I think that talking a little bit about the solar chakra too will be good. So what do you know about the like solar chakra? Why is it useful to students? Yeah, one way to think about it is we often you get those gut feelings where you just feel something in your body and you know, and that could be your solar chakra communicating with you. Oh, okay, yeah. And so I think all the chakras are really useful and I encourage all the students watching today to go research a little bit more. But those are just two examples of chakras that can help you focus in and they're two really helpful resources. So if you want to feel more grounded or if you want to be more in touch with your intuition, those are like two focus areas. But there's so many chakras and I encourage you to explore them. So I know Mary loves meditation and we've talked about meditation a little bit. So I think you did come today with like a small meditation activity to just give students a taste of what good mindful meditation can be like. Yes, yes, I wanted to give you a taste. But first let's think about your mind. And I know it's important to recognize as students, your mind is really important to you. You're always thinking and planning and you know, figuring out what you should do next and processing things. And that leaves you like in your head all of the time. Okay, let's take a minute and just practice being mindful and just get a taste of what it feels like. So just for, so the first things to do with meditation are just to be comfortable. So sit comfortably. Um, it's helpful to close your eyes or just gaze downward. Let me so bring your focus inside <laughs> instead of letting your senses dominate. So just for a second, sit comfortably. Close your eyes if you wish to, you don't have to. Feel yourself sitting in your chair, feeling where your body touches your chair. And then letting yourself hear whatever sounds there are around you. And then just feeling the air touching your skin. And then noticing that there's thoughts going through your mind. And as each thought passes through your mind, just picture it like a cloud in a clear blue sky. Just letting it come and letting it go. Not being attached, your thoughts are free. They're just something floating through your mind. And then bringing your attention to your breath 
Just feeling your breath coming in and feeling your breath going out. And let's just do that a few times, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And one more time, breathing in and breathing out. And then for a second, you know, just let your eyes be closed for a second more. And then taking a deep breath, open your eyes and bringing you back to where you are right now. Now, how many thoughts did you have in that period of time, Bryce? <laughs> a lot of thoughts, yeah. My brain kind of is a roller coaster sometimes. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, if you just watch for a few seconds, how many thoughts go through your head? Yeah. So meditation is about giving that brain, that mind, a break. Now, I do know that we want to talk about some different things too, different um, things that students can do to try to de-stress and focus. Um, so one thing is like even, and we talk about this a lot, sometimes just going outside, mm -hmm. just existing outside, oh, letting absolutely. the sun hit you. Connecting with nature. Yes. Yeah, it can help you so much. And we encourage students to do that all the time. Even if you get off the school bus after school, if you still go home on the school bus, or even if you drive yourself, just getting out of your car or out of the bus and like standing outside for a little bit and just taking a breather mm -hmm. can be make such a difference in the day. <laughs> and then of course there's listening to music, which is really mm -hmm. helpful. Um, and it can really get you out of your space. You can listen to something that puts a certain mood on. Like you can listen to sad music if you want to feel a little bit of sadness or if you want to explore your sadness. You can listen to happy music to get yourself excited and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And there's so many opportunities there. And then even video games I talk about sometimes, which I know Mary loves video games at times. <laughs> <laughs> um, but video games can be so useful too because it's an escape from the real world. So you're able to kind of like step out of yourself and exist in this digital world and have some fun and explore a little bit. So there's so many different opportunities for students to like explore different activities and do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But of course, Mary's favorite is meditation. And I think that it brings a lot of attention to, to meditation helps you to just bring so much calmness to your life and helps you to handle so many things in your lives. And I think that that connects just so well with our award categories too, because Absolutely. our award categories are so many pillars of building a good future, both in the workforce and even for yourself. So even thinking about attendance, being mindful, taking away your anxiety can help so much to get rest and find an easier time going to bed mm -hmm. and not feeling so much dread when you wake up. When it comes to um, community service, I think that it's very helpful for being able to invigorate yourself and empower yourself to go help others and like bring happiness to others. Yeah, once you can control your own thoughts a little bit, it's much easier to think about somebody else. Yes, for STEM, um, I think it gives you, the meditation can really help you to get the courage to try the new mm -hmm. things, to be able to try these new classes, work harder in some places. Yes, to reduce that anxiety. And for academic improvement and excellence, of course, excellence, I feel like is all about just empowering yourself and working every day to be better in all of your classes. But for improvement, sometimes we can get really hard on ourselves if you get a C or if you get a D or you're not doing very well in one of your classes. And sometimes meditation can help you reset because sometimes all you have to do is step back and be like, I'm okay, let me tackle this, I got this. Yeah, once you step away and relax and get beyond your mind for a second, it puts things in perspective. Yes. And things that can seem very serious on the surface can also can seem much less intimidating once you step back a little bit. Yeah, and we hear that from a lot of students. That's really what it takes sometimes, being able to step back and be like, I got this, like, why not me? I can do this. Yeah. That's so awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mary. We're so excited to have a guest like you at TCP Summer Camp. Yeah, thanks for um, having me. Thank you to all of our campers for visiting today. And make sure to check out our live stream every Friday this summer at 11 a.m. And you're going to see these little complimentary episodes every Monday after those live streams. Thank you all for tuning in. And I cannot wait to see you guys back in camp on Friday. Have a good day.